kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, there we go, up out of the hole. We're uh, with these poor old wrecked tractors. I'm gonna have to uh, encourage them to go the way we want them to go here a little bit, obviously, because there's no steering, but yank the fucking thing. It'll turn, see? So, we got the white out of her hole. I just wanna get it up on the lawn over here so it'll be easier to deal with. And then, it'll be the 4010's turn, so. I wanna try sticking this thing into gear here and see if it'll do anything. So I'll bring you back in a sec. Oh yeah, I put it in fifth gear. Let's see if the locked up motor wants to break free. Hmm. Nope. Something's just slipping in the transmission there with it in fifth gear. Probably the over under or something. Can't pull start it apparently. <laughs> Whatever. This motor's pretty well fucked on this thing, so. I guess, talk to you in a few. Let's go for a ride here, 4010. I can't move the clutch pedal on it, so. I got it in tow anyway. There we go. She sure sank down in a hole anyway. <laughs> So they have fenders and everything for it, just not here. Tires are in surprisingly decent shape. <laughs> Steering wheel just falls to pieces. Ah, uh, junk. Nothing. Whatever, she's a fixer-upper. Let's put her in gear here and see if it fucking spins. See if she's locked or not. Oh yeah, she's locked. <laughs> Shucks. Try and put it in a higher gear, but I can't find one. There's fifth. No. Locked. Shitty dicks. Oh well. We'll cure that pretty quick with an engine kit. I don't know if it's in gear or not, this thing, because I don't understand it. <laughs> there we go. Kind of Mickey Mouse, but it works.
Alrighty, so we're getting the little 46A off of here. We unbolt it and undone the hoses, but it come off and kind of went cattywampus on us here. Antoine's going to try letting some of the slack off of it, but I think violence might be the answer here a little bit. <laughs> There it is. Excellent. So this little loader belongs on that 4010. Is what it originally was on. That's where it's going to end up again too, so... There. Nice. Look at this operation I've de devised. <laughs> Haul it home on a slother mover. Nice. Now we just got to chain her down there. Fuck that's king, as Ryan would say. I think that's going to work just swimmingly. Maybe. <laughs> What do you reckon? They haven't seen you in a long time. Where the fuck have you been? People were starting to wonder. Well. <laughs> Went off to a colony somewhere for a little while or a religious retreat. Town girl locked him in a basement. No one really fucking knows, honestly. Just, he was back. <laughs> what were you gonna take for? What were you gonna take for? To push rock piles in. Fucking seals leaking. <laughs> Fuck. No, we're good enough for the little bit we're doing here right now. We're just from here to the barn that deep and uh, gonna bury power. Get rid of the poles and shit there, Dad. Uh, kind of like old Ed Goslin said there, why don't you bury it? Well, yeah, Dad said, yeah, no shit, why don't I bury it? <laughs> so, did that. Buried the power from here to there better than it was. To the other water bowl over there. Because we just dug it in by hand basically there last year because the ground was froze. Uh, and then we got a big track hole coming and he's going to dig from that bowl all the way over into the new corral to put in our new water bowl tomorrow. Because this thing's a little too leaky for that, so. Anyway, that's what's happening right now at the old mini, the mini mall. I got all my treasures hauled home there, and we'll go. Well, you've seen everything there, basically. Since we talked yesterday, um, sold the white to Ryan and it sounds like he's going to try to find an engine for it so that'll be his project over there and then the Alice I never really had real plans on restoring I was going to just I more or less wanted it for the loader they'll come as a package anyway but uh, sold it to a guy who collects them up north He's got a whole pile of them, so he's not sure if he's going to use it for parts or for uh, get it going again or whatnot. But so I sold the both of them, and uh, well, I sold the white to Ryan for what I paid for it, because well, you know, be a nice guy. <laughs> but the uh, Alice, I made a couple dollars on, anyways. Not a lot, a lot, but enough it paid for the other two, basically. So anyway, talk to you in a few.
remember last year, there was this chain drive here that sprocket stripped out on it. So. And all my skunking around looking for junk, I found some more cast weight. Those are off our old 560. Rob bought two of them for on his, but he didn't want all of them. They hung those on the front, and then those are Massey or uh, Alice Chalmers of some sort. We're not really sure. But now that that's on there, the front stays on the ground, so. What a fucking old army tank. Like 2,500 bucks is a pretty good hole. I want to fix it up, though, put some lights on it and a better seat. A coat of paint would sure look cool. about fucked the old cylinder. <laughs> um, tried to order a seal kit for it and we phoned Chase but they say there's supposed to be a uh, serial number or something stamped on the barrel of the cylinder and we can't find it. There's nothing there. So they go, oh, there's 30 different kits that could be and, you know, the typical. <laughs> so, uh, the plan, our old uh, flexi-coil toolbar out there has the same stroke of cylinder and Antoine's trying to phone me now so I'll talk to you in a minute. He was that close to getting done. She said, nope, I'm done digging. <laughs> oh well, we can get the, the big track hoe that's coming tomorrow to do that big stretch. He can do the last two scoops there it's going to take. So, but anyway... Like I was saying, that cylinder on that uh, old air seeder is the same stroke, so we're going to try just swapping cylinders out. But, anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave you guys for this video. Almost got done. Just you get to shovel the rest. I don't think so. Gerard can. Right. Gerard can shovel it with his big hydraulic shovel. <laughs> Anyway, I guess. We'll find you a cylinder. We know where there's one. <laughs> That's where I'll leave you guys. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Other than that, talk to you later. <laughs>